this video explains how you can install Apache HTTP server on Mac system so for that uh, all you have to do is just go to the command prompt or terminal and then uh, use this command brew install httpd this is the command brew install httpd that's it it will install the apache server for you once the apache server uh, http server is installed uh, how you can start that so to start this Apache server, you have to use this command sudo apache ctl start. So let us. I have already installed it using this command. Let us start this server. Let us see if it starts properly or not. So you can see that it is uh, HTTP server is running on the port 80. And to stop the server, you have to use the same command, just uh, change start by stop, and the server will be stopped. And you can see that right now, uh, this port 80 is not being displayed in this output. So this command is used to see which uh, files are open on this port 80. So there is nothing running on the port 80, that means server is stopped. So that's how we can uh, install the HTTP server and then start and stop the server. To uh, find the uh, default configuration file, uh, you can see that this path is uh, where this default configuration is available, etc uh, apache to distribute.conf. And by default, the server runs on 80 or 8080. So you can check that out. You can actually uh, go into this file, http.conf uh, configuration file, and then see which port this server is uh, listening to. And then you can just go to the uh, browser and then type localhost colon. 8080 or uh, if it is running on 80 then you don't need to uh, specify the port you can just type localhost and then it will open the uh, default page that is there so default document root here is you can see library web server document so that's where you can put your html files or css files javascript or your web application files you can put there so by default index.html file will be served if you do not mention anything if you just type localhost so let us try that one let us start the server once again and now if you go to the local host you can see that it is saying it works because that is the only page that is available there in the Alright, so that's how you can access the server and the uh, server is running on 80 but uh, if the port is different in the configuration file you will have it running on 8080 and uh, another thing is uh, sometimes this httpad.configuration file may not be available in this uh, directory depending on the, which version you are running it may be in different directory so to find out the httpd file you can use this command uh, this find command is actually a linux or a mac command that you can use to find the specific file in the directory so by default you uh, might get the uh, file in these directories etc then usr applications library so in one of these directories you should find this httpd.conf file and once you find this uh, location of the file, you can just open it and then edit that where you can specify the port as well. So let us uh, just take a look at this uh, file, how it looks like. I'm going to use nano editor. And this is the file. Over here, uh, you can see the configuration for your HTTP server. Server root, then uh, you can see that uh, here it's listening on the port E. Where you can change the port number if you want. You can uh, enable disable the models that you want to load for the Apache server. And there are a hell lot of other settings over there. Server admin and then uh, virtual directories or virtual websites configuration can also be done. So that's how we can uh, work with HTTP server on the Mac. Thanks for watching this video.